Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to prototype Face ID authentication in Swift UI. Uh, it's pretty cool in Swift Playgrounds now that we can develop fully functional apps using Swift UI. So I'm going to prototype this using Swift Playgrounds. It's also pretty useful when you're playing with things like uh, a LiDAR sensor or, or perhaps these biometrics which you may not have on your main iPhone device and you need to actually test, you can't test it in the simulator. So I'm going to be using Swift Playgrounds on my iPad Pro in order to test this. So I've set a template already. I've got this state, which will be the check login, and that's going to be passed through to this bio UI view. And then I have this little if statement. So if it's true, it will just say welcome. Otherwise, it's going to show that authentication view. Inside my authentication view, the bio UI view, I have that binding state, which is passed through. I have a function at the top. And then I basically just have a button which is styled. So I've covered button styling before, so you should be aware of how to create these. So I'm not going to go into that in too much in depth. What I'm going to focus on really is this function at the top, which is called. Whoops, caps lock. Uh, so which first thing we need to do is to import the local authentication library. This will allow us to handle all sorts of biometric authentication, including uh, face ID. I'm going to set a context and we're going to have a variable which will handle our error. So first thing we can do is check whether the biometric hardware is actually available on the device. That's the main error that we're going to, we're going to get. So we'll start off with an if statement. We'll use the built-in methods for the context. So we'll check if the device owner has biometrics and can authenticate. And then if it does, then we'll assign that error uh, variable. If it is possible, then we're going to go ahead. So we we'll start off by creating the reason why we want to, to do it. As you know, with the plists, we always need to make sure that we give a reason why we're accessing data. So from that context, we're going to use another inbuilt method. So we're going to check if the uh, if we can evaluate that policy. We'll put in the biometrics. We'll put in our reason. And then we're not going to do this last part. We're actually going to create a closure. And then within that closure, we're going to have a success criteria and we're going to have an authentication error. So authentication is successful. We're going to create a thread using the dispatch queue. If we have success, then we're going to authenticate. Else we're going to display what the error is. So if it's successful, we just want to set our is unlocked binding to true. And if it's not, we're going to set that to false. And that's all we need to do in order to handle biometric authentication. So it's fairly easy. It's more about handling those bindings. Lastly, if there's no biometric, we're just going to print out and have that there's no biometric authentication. So you can choose what you want to do with that else statement. And that's our complete method. So we give that a test, of course, and click the button, and then it should show that alternative view. 